So guys, when it comes to shooting travel content, I like to bring only the necessary gear with me so that I can create the best possible travel video. The less gear I have with me, the more enjoyable and stress-free the trip will be. Now, last week I went to Paris and shot a lot of videos on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think over 700 clips. One of the biggest advantage of a smartphone camera is that you always have it with you. And if you come across an unexpected moment that you'd like to capture, you can simply pull out your phone and take the shot. You don't have to worry about carrying around heavy camera gear. It's all possible using your smartphone and a couple of accessories. Now, I remembered where I didn't use my smartphone to capture all my travel content. I used to bring uh, my Canon 80D with me with this uh, huge travel backpack and I would pack my Canon 80D, my gimbal, my drone, my tripod and all of that stuff and then walk up a Machu Picchu feeling super exhausted at the end. And the funny part is I didn't even use half of the gear during that trip. So guys, keep it mobile. What's up guys, Bennett Grazer here with SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, the epic online program to shooting awesome videos with your phone. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my best travel video setup when filming with an iPhone. Now, if you're using a different phone, it doesn't matter, the same rules apply. Now, keep in mind that all products mentioned will be in the video description below, so feel free to check them out. So starting with the first item that I always bring with me when creating travel type content is the Tool Legend Sling Bag. There are many sling bags Bags that you can get but I like to use this particular one because it has several multi-function pockets and fits all of my smartphone gear in it. I just like how I can quickly pull the bag in front of me and grab out the things I need. Originally I used this uh, for my GoPro but I find it works well when shooting with a phone. I had this sling bag for quite a long time now and as you can see it's very durable. So moving on to the camera I'm using is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is the camera I bring with me when traveling. As of making this video, it is the latest iPhone you can get. It has a pretty good battery life, which is important when filming on the go. It has great image quality and I especially love cinematic mode. I think it works great for shooting medium and close-up shots as it adds a nice shallow depth of field to your videos. I like to mix it up with the videos shot in the standard video mode to add more interest. And what's great is that you have three lenses on the back. This allows me to get a variety of different focal length without the need to use third-party lenses. I can quickly switch between the lenses to get the desired shot I need. I like using the telephoto lens a lot whenever I can't get closer to the subject. Now the telephoto lens by Sandmark is a third-party lens I sometimes use on the built-in telephoto lens that allows me to get 4.5 times closer. Now you could zoom in, but zooming in too far will eventually degrade the image quality. Now for those that only have one lens, I do recommend getting a telephoto lens as it does look nice on the subject's face and you can get a closer shot. Now what I like about uh, the telephoto lens by Sandmark is that it comes with a clip that you can mount on most smartphones uh, just like that and then straight away start shooting. Now when using a third party lens on a gimbal, it can get heavy, so make sure to get uh, counterweights to balance the weight. The next item I like to bring with me when traveling is the DJI OM4. This is by far my favorite gimbal as I can charge my iPhone while shooting and also has a quick setup time. Now let me show you what I mean by that. This is a trick I like to do that not many people know of that allows me to get quick gimbal shots. When I'm on the go, a lot of times I have the DJI OM4 in standby mode. And to enter standby mode, I simply press the M button three times and I can quickly fold it and leave it that way. And when I see something interesting that I want to shoot, within seconds I can uh, unfold the gimbal and simply press the trigger button and I'm ready to shoot. And this way I don't always have to turn on and off the gimbal all the time. But do you know how the pros unfold their gimbals? Like this. Oh yeah. Now this is no joke, I sometimes really unfold the gimbal just using one hand. Now what's great about standby mode is that I'm also able to charge the gimbal. And during my trip to Paris, I always ended up charging my phone because shooting in Filmic Pro does use up a lot of battery. And if I want to go handheld, I can quickly detach the phone from the gimbal so I can simply turn it off, fold it back, take it off. 
that simple. Now when shooting with the DJI OM4, I never have a case on the iPhone 13 Pro Max as it adds more weight and doesn't really fit with the magnetic clamp, but at no point during my trip did it fall off the gimbal. So I highly recommend the DJI OM4 as it does the job well and has everything you need for capturing those moments. Something else you should use when shooting travel content is Filmic Pro, which is a professional video app that allows you to have full control over your camera. You can get by shooting with the native camera app, but you will still have less control. With Filmic Pro, you can control the focus and exposure separately, dial in and lock your white balance, set your ISO and shutter speed, and much more for better video results. In my course, I talk about it a lot and have a dedicated section on how I use Filmic Pro to get professional video results. While I was in Paris, I shot 90% of the footage using Filmic Pro. I'm actually currently working on the video of Paris and it's going to be pretty cool. Now I'm really glad that Filmic Pro made such an advanced video app for those wanting to take their mobile filmmaking skills to the next level. At first glance, it might seem overwhelming with all of its features, but with the basic understanding and simple process, you can get some really great results. Last, you will need some kind of editing app such as Luma Fusion. Now I prefer editing on a desktop computer. My main editing software is Final Cut Pro, but when it comes to editing on an iPhone, Luma Fusion is my go-to app. I find that Luma Fusion is the best and most advanced editing app out there as it's inexpensive and packed with many great features. It will soon be also available for Android users, so stay tuned for that. Now, even though I don't edit that much in Luma Fusion, it's still great to have an editing app with you as you can import the clips you shot and create a quick edit for your social media. Now, if you want to learn more, head over to smartphonefilmmaking.com, the epic online course where you will learn everything there is to shooting cinematic and professional looking videos with your smartphone. Now, if you're new to making mobile videos, make sure to also download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality videos on your phone. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button as this will help me make more valuable content for you guys. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate all of you. Keep it mobile and I'm out.